Welcome back after taking a shit and three hours later had a morning nap at around 10 30 a.m. Only a couple of parts left around here and this one too. So let's continue on finishing this thing. What am I seeing? Oh. Okie dokie. So where was I? Uh, I don't know actually. What the fuck? <laughs> yep, I think it's this one here and this one here. Dump it together like so. And put it at the side. Oh, before that, let's cover up the tie. And you can see here the broken part here. God oh, damn it! Tie so can actually can actually bend quite a lot. But once you put the Once you put the armor on, it will be more difficult to move this one here. Put it on the side. You can put the silver here, but it's nicely color separated, gray, uh, gray and maroon. So you don't need to put a silver there. So uh, how does it work? Ah. Easy peasy. Next up, cover. It won't cover all the way. What can I do? Nothing. Except use the plier to force it in. Now I'm using my brute strength of my fingers. After doing all this gum ply, definitely you have a sore finger. So there is a gap between the two ties. What to do? Okay. Next up, this cover here goes into this hole here. Ah, slides in very easily. Good. Good, 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 good. Next up. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, there's one part here, which is this one. Covers the behind part of this, this uh, back of the knee. Uh, the instructions tells you to put this one only after you put all the armor, which is not a good thing at all. You should not do that because the armor will impede you from putting this piece into here because it's angled in a really weird way so it's best to ignore the the instruction and just straight away put it in like so this one is a weird thing here this goes into the hole which is inside here so might as well put that in first like so comes like that nice so put that this piece in first. After so you put all the armor, then you want to try to put this in, you have to take out the armor again. So do this one first. The instruction is fucked up. Next up. Ah, this one here is... Wait a minute, I think I've... I hope I didn't fuck things up. Ah, yes, yes, now I know. Uh, did I fuck things up? I hope not. Nope, I haven't fucked things up yet. Next up is the this thing here, which is bright red. So I have to put it uh, on the side. Here. There's this thing here. It goes with wait, wait, wait. what the fuck? 
no, no, uh, this thing here goes into these holes, a couple of holes. So, just like, uh, oh, it's, wait, the, the fuck? Uh, oh, no, no, not this one, actually. Wait, fuck. What the? Missing one piece here. G17. Ah, I'm mistaken that for something else. Shit. G17. This is G17. Where the fuck is my plier? Yep, it's here. My half of my suspender here, which acts as a as a what we'll call pad. You know those green pads. I don't have that, so in place of it is cloth. So to cut out the excess nub marks, some people do use what you call it uh, new clippers, which is kind of weird, but it's still the same shit, right? At least uh, it won't cut you when you play with your Gundams if you have the marks, the nut marks on. Plus it can be quite tedious to look at. You have to get rid of the nut marks. So there are three clips just now, so therefore there are three nut marks to get rid of. And no matter what you do, whether you send it down or not, it still leaves a whitish mark. Sending it might even make it more white and very very uh, scratched up so we can do the sanding but uh, don't get the plastic shavings or powder into your lungs you stay there maybe so let's uh, continue on putting this thing into this is a maroon colored thing uh -huh. uh, am I doing it correctly? Yes, I am. Okay, it's a very, very tight hole. Damn it. Oh. I feel like that thing is not going to come out anymore. God damn it. So, there's one and another one would be, would have to be constructed. There's this piece here. Yes. Like so, and a Q2. Wait, I don't have a Q2. What? Uh, fuck. Uh huh. Q2. There it is. I did not prepare it in advance. Three knock marks. Let's see, Q is, gotta like, look at it properly, Q is finito, everything is done, therefore, it's gone, into the rubbish bin here with all my spunk, you know, the tissue form, yeah, happy new year!
today is a happy new year. Oh, I haven't done my for the new year. I haven't done that at all. I don't. I don't like doing all these work in progress videos because it's time consuming and nobody actually watches the whole damn video. In YouTube, uh, normally videos that are short have have more views. So very long videos is is not encouraged unless you're a let's player. You play games. People just want to like. Uh, turn off their brains after working at night so they just go on to YouTube and watch people play games and you don't want to play games because you're too damn fucking tired to play a game so they watch people play games very weird very meta like and YouTube is discouraging people for making longer videos more than one hour because their YouTube editor does not actually make videos more than one hour so they discourage you on that front as well so I'm kind of like fucked. Normally I would do for like 5 hour videos. 5 hours is the the maximum length of a video if you want to use the YouTube editor. I can use other software and just upload it without going through YouTube editor so I can get more than 1 hour type of videos. But uh, my computer is slow so fuck it. So all my videos, most of my videos that are more than one hour is part one, part two, part three, part four. So, like so, just push it in. Satisfying click. Get another part which is uh, J6. The bad thing about this is not sure which is which. Wait a minute, what, where is J6? Oh. I think I fucked up again. No. Is there a J here? Not sure. Uh, is this a J? K? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Oh fuck, where is... Where is... J? J. I'm talking about red letter medias. J. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. J. I think J6 is it? Yes, J6. This part here. So uh, YouTube is discouraging people from making longer videos. I think they're changing their ways now. Every year, sometimes they change, they fuck things up. Oh, I'm gonna make another video about YouTube heroes. Telling you who I I'm subscribed to and why I'm subscribed to them, so it'll be hopefully interesting because everybody's making their oh the best of and worst of of 2016, and the uh, YouTube heroes of 2016 by YouTube themselves is uh, I didn't even recognize all of them, which is good for the people who are who are unrecognizable, the ones who are not super popular. The ones that I recognize, if I'm not mistaken, is that gamer. Of course, I'm not. I'm not not subscribed to the most subscribed channel of all, which is PewDiePie. Uh, don't give a shit about him actually. Don't like his content, but sometimes he does commentary, which is good. Not on games, but on uh, YouTube in general, which is uh, all right. And there's the black nerd, uh, black sci-fi nerd, Andre is it? I don't like to see his face, so I'm not that keen on him. Not that I'm racist against black people. Of course, I'm racist against black people. Aren't everybody is, aren't everybody racist towards black people? But I do love Double Toasted. That's a great channel. I watch their shit every day, and I listen to their podcast every day. I love it. It's good to hear it, and do gunpla. Of course, you don't hear it because I'm. Concentrating on this and videoing. So, so YouTube might change its algorithm soon, or has already changed its algorithm. So, everybody's kind of like pissed off that uh, then when you upload a so this piece here, this is inside of the piece. 
bad. Excuse me, when you upload a video, you get less subscribers. Mm. There was a podcast which I'm not subscribed to, which is not sure. Is it, is it called the best podcast in the world? Starring the controversial Kim Star and two other podcasters. It was interesting, but I think it's dead now. So, clash of personalities can fuck things up, I think. So this this the cover is very small for this thing here. So I'm not sure what's the point of this this small little thing, which is just mm, god shit. I do not know. So now ooh, into this pack here with this thing here. Uh huh. Okay, I hope it's packed well or not. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, now we're gonna push it in to make it into the armor, close it up like so. So it's not gonna be perfect since it's a, a thing from China. So, one half of it is done. Next page. What I wanted to say, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about actually to make it a bit more interesting. So now there's a big thruster here. Oh, fuck my ass in. There's an... Shit. Ah! There's one here. It's good. So according to the instruction, the yellow part first, then the big thruster, one and two. And a Q18, which is this part here. Gatai, gatai. and there you have it a thruster here and the connector here which uh, to properly see it so I came back from Binang it's quite interesting uh, with the family dynamism going there easy to move about because it's a van it's enjoyable but we're short so probably going to all these places is you get very tired <sighs> if you have a house there then it would be awesome but you you have a house in Penang that means you're rich and definitely everything will be awesome this is a big piece here for the outside of the of the leg so this is the inner frame kinda so there's a big gap hole here to show you there's a silver lining here so silver lining god damn it i hate j low now even though i want to fuck her so bad I don't like j low now j law very like up up uh, nose uppity uppity nose very lanzi lanyong in cantonese that means uh vagina shit vagina face ah, yeah that means uh, very sombong in malay that means arrogant since she's at the top, she is... Well, people at the top, there's only one way to go, which is either to heaven or hell or down to earth. So, finito the side skirt, a uh, side of the ankle that has some inner detail in the form of this silver thing. And ah, trusters go into this one here, this part here. I wish there was more light, but uh, today is an overcast day. It might rain afterwards, or it has rained, and it's very, very cloudy for Malaysia and cool too, which is very, very seldom happen. Seldom happens. Seldom happen. Which one? Happen or happens? Seldom happens. I think, yeah, seldom happens. 
go with your gut feeling if you are not sure normally your gut which is your place where they process the shit is full of shit that means it's wrong what the fuck am I saying so <coughs> so this one is done follow the instructions again this one here uh -huh. so I have to construct again something like this we have this part here and there's another thing which I have since I've already prepared all the the stuff I do not sure which one J11 J12 no idea I have to look at the picture make sure it's the same shit so that's why there's another uh, another reason why I don't like making videos and prepare all the armor or whatever first even though it's in sequential sequence is in a sequence but still sometimes I'm not sure which one goes into which because some of the the parts are similar in design and the picture in the guidebook is also at an angle that makes them look almost the same so yeah lots and lots of problems so this one in first So this hole is similar to the other side so yep so into the hole here which I think will be a easy fit yep it's so easy nice easy peasy not too tight not too loose that's what you want to say about the vagina uh, next up second number two second phase now this one is of course bright red it's got to go in first yep uh huh is it outside or inside yeah i think it's outside so i quite confusing i should aha should be like so yeah should be like so so I'm going to push it in. Always tell your girl that when you're going to push your dick into a vagina. So she can prepare for the invasion of the sperm. Ta-da! Got it. Got it. So you see this part here? It, it hasn't told me to put this K5 or this this behind the knee cover only after I put this one first then they say oh put that one in but in reality don't just put the cave this one first in save you a lot of trouble and what the f fuck ah yes the last one here the trust the piece with the big trust uh, or the outside skirt of the ankle uh, in. is it in? yes! it's in! yeah so angle it so that it's it's nicely in line with the other armor and there you have it it's very detailed I love master grace it's super super detailed although you're not gonna like play with it of course but it's just uh, so detailed and so pretty and three more pieces to go K10 K10 is this one the back of the leg which is I think it's a simple just close it and cover it but uh, these small little pieces here are in the way so push it to the side so to expose some part that will put this in place so just cover it like so let's see whether it works or not sorry guys I'm not doing gunpla in a lot a lot I mean often uh, takes money to actually buy all this shit and you're not giving me money at all 
if you want to support me through Patreon, do go ahead. Every little helps to purchase food, lodging, and gunpla. Support the sites. Look at the advertisements and whatnot. Disregard your and APB or anti piracy blocky advertisement things so that I can actually make some money out of doing this thing here which I enjoy uh, don't we all want to work and get paid for something we enjoy right oh shit did I do it wrong? Okay, trust us, it's correct, I hope. But it's not going in, which is weird. Aha! I think. Huh. This works here, eh? but it's not that tight here. Two twenty-six minutes. Yes. Hmm, what does it mean, what does it mean? Should be correct though. Oh, is this a tight fit, I think. Very tight fit. Okay. Gao Ding. That's Cantonese for finish. Completed. Not yet, actually two more pieces. And the trusses just came out. Two of them. From inside here. <coughs> so what to do? I don't even know how to actually Ah yes, open the hatch that I've just put into or installed into. So maybe it's a bit loose. The yellow thrusters here. So I just dump it back inside. So super glue might be useful here. Either you paint it, I mean after you painted it then you should like super glue the yellow if you want the yellow to be in there or you want it to be super real, real, realistic then black because it's a truster carbon you know fuel <laughs> carbonized fuel black not yellow yellow makes it seem like it's very new just out of the assembly line and uh, funnily enough it looks like so there's a big gap here what does it mean Oh, it can come out. It can come. It can go slide inside and slide outside. Yes, now remember what the the construction is like. Sometimes you already put or completed your kit and you leave it on the shelf for months and you want to play with it and you're not sure how the mechanics go. So you can like, ah, uh, how do I actually get the armor out and display it differently? You forgot that the gimmicks are so and so and so after some time because if you have so many Gundams you just build forget about it and when you play with it it's all new again okay there so uh, the toe can move like so and like so so cool and so of course uh, this back heel here also can move a bit I think if I'm not mistaken I'm not sure actually let's take the other one yep you can because it's not flat but uh, it does not have the Psycho Gundam or Thunderbolt no, Psycho Zaku 2 or the Gundam Thunderbolt where they have the claws uh, they don't have claws here but they could have installed a claw just to uh, tether the the robot onto an asteroid or whatever they could have done wait, actually it does have shit, forgot about it there's a claw here this one here, there's the claw so it is like the Psycho Zaku 2 and the Thunderbolt Thunderbolt Gundam because I was thinking oh such a big feat might as well put some claws there's also a couple of claws here which I think is very hard to to get out yeah it's gonna be very difficult I'm not gonna show you show it to you Fuck it. Who cares? then next last but not least this one here wait there's a couple of instructions here one two three four I oh, forget I'm gonna just go in two is put this thing here into somewhere 
somewhere over the oh this thing here this thruster this part here is uh, can slide up and down or go like so like so somewhere over the rainbow skies are blue fucked up people are everywhere and I'm one of them too ah so easy hello and lastly cover for the knee because no one wants a arrow to the knee easy peasy so easy easy peasy so easy as you are we are chinese we we more smarter than gringo or white people or, <coughs> or ghost person guaylo there finito Fuck yeah, America! So got it? Nice, nicey peasy. It's a finity. So done it. So that's the walkthrough of this thing here. So let's uh, assemble the damn thing since I have nothing to do. So fuck it. Uh, actually, I should by right uh, just you know panel line it. Because there's so much to like panel line, give it a more surface detail. Even though it's dark, and panel lining is makes it darker. It's not so pronounced when you panel line it. Not as pronounced as panel lining on a on a what you call it, a white surface or a brighter surface. Oh, it's quite heavy, man. It's quite nice. And the ass here. Are you an ass man or a breast man? That's the biggest question of all. Very nice, huge and big, like what what good girl says. It's huge. Yes. Yes. You know that the leg can like move like so and like so from the pelvis there. So I think there's a locking. Okay, there's no locking mechanism for that. Last but not least, the body. Wait, the side skirts. Oh, I have to construct the side skirts. Ah, you don't need to see the side skirts how it's constructed. I'm gonna just slap it on afterwards. Making this video is tedious as fuck. Just the legs, just the legs, hmm. and the body. The backpack I haven't done yet. Okie dokie. And I can have I said that the head is very loose from the the torso because maybe I did not put in that much, so it's loose as fuck. Very loose. That's about it. I hope it's in already, right? Yeah. Ah, nice. How much is this union? Eh? Let's see. Bought from Facebook, but you can get cheaper out there for sure. I'm gonna write it down. Yep, 125 ringgit, 2016. Facebook. Oh my God, Gundam. 126. I see. About 30 US dollars or 3000 yen. Yes, it's complete though uh, without the backpack. Very, very imposing without the side skirts too. Oh, yo, it's huge, man. What the fuck? It's, my, it's the size of my dick. It's got a nice weight to it. Definitely looks nicer than the non workout version, the Master Grade. Proportion wise, it's excellente. Lovely, detail everywhere. Fucking hell, it looks imposing as fuck. It's huge. That's what she said. Next to the high grade, uh, from Titi Hongi. 
Hello, big brother. Oh, it's, it's side by side. Of course, you can see that there's a modification here. Uh, you know, I supposed to be inside, but I put it out to make a bigger shoulder here. And you can see there's some sticker here. They in front of like armor separated, give it a different color. They don't want to go the extra mile of making another plastic that this fit together. Just put the sticker on the what the fuck sticker on there cool huh? cool beans very nice see nice only problem with the head is you look at the head it's kind of weird don't know why the front part of the head here is flatter compared to the whole other helmet you get what I mean or not look at it it's the front part is like a, there's a cap you know the cap is like a bit bigger it's not aligned with the back helmet, like not like Darth Vader, you know. As if Darth Vader, the front part here, which is a, it's like, is it a different color? It looks like it's a different color, yeah. It's a different color, like a cap, you know. Darth Vader, the whole thing is aligned symmetric. Is it symmetrical? Aligned uh, with the whole helmet. It's like a helmet. This one here, there's a cap, the red one, the raider part compared to the rest. That cap is weirdly designed. It's weird. So back here, there's a backpack. So later on, so let's uh, just easily take this thing out. You can see there's some blue tag or some stickers to stick it on. Turn on the lights. Wilder. Nice that the uh, this Daban model gave or provided the batteries. If not, I wouldn't give a shit. Even though I have an LED. It's nice of them. Bandai, pff, as if they're gonna do. Taban and all those Chinese, whatever things, or they give extra stuff. Of course, you have to pay for it. Extra hands, uh, like the one the Dragon Momoko, Hyakushiki or something else. The second version of Hyakushiki, I'm not sure what it's called. The hands, they have many many types of hands. Blah blah blah. Trigger finger, open hands, groping finger masturbation pose they give also the the back of the hand or is it back of the hand front of the hand cover and also the ball joint and the thumb for all hands bandai good luck you have to like take out take the hand out and you disassemble this part here and then take out fingers and the thumb then you put it together with your desired pose with a trigger finger the middle finger whatever Bandai, be smart, motherfucker. You design good shit, but at least go all the way and making your product awesome. But thank you very much. I really like this one. Thank you, Hajime Worker. Hajime Isayama. No, not Isayama, that's Attack on Titans. Hajime Kazuki. Hajime Katoki. Ah, Hajime Katoki. Very nicely designed. I love it. And of course, the hands here, they are all movable. Good shit. Stay tuned for my next, uh, you know, backpack, guns, shield. Still have some things to do.